the dark corner midnight approached as ted ordered a final drink thirstier than usual eh? said the bartender with a sober grin touch of fever got me down ted replied can hardly breathe no stopped up so bad shame how about the tissue not worth the try ted drank and read in the local paper about a series of recent disappearances he did not recognize the faces of the vanished placing his paper to the side ted peeked behind him and saw the bartender mopping the floor around empty tables it would soon be closing time and ted had assumed he was the only customer left in the place but as he observed his surroundings he could just make out the figure of a man seated in the dark corner across the room the man was staring silently through a window his face hidden in shadow an empty glass stood on his table ted was the bar's most loyal patron and had never seen another customer stay so late ted's mind built a tower of suspicions as he recalled the gloomy news in the paper wishing the bartender good night Ted folded his newspaper and heaved his sickly body off the stool. He made his way to the exit, keeping his eyes on the stranger in the corner. In the parking lot, Ted opened the trunk of his car and grabbed a flashlight and binoculars. He wanted a better look at the suspicious stranger and stealthily slipped into the abandoned barn close by. It was a good hiding place from which to view the bar. Inside, dust hovered in the beam of Ted's flashlight as he cautiously approached the large barn window. Opaque stains covered all but the very top of the glass. Ted was too low, so he pushed a stack of coarsely woven sacks towards the window. He climbed the pile of sacks to reach the transparent part of the glass. Through these binoculars, Ted could see the stranger in the bar. He had not moved an inch since Ted had left. The stranger had a dark suit and a thin mustache. Copious fellow, ain't he? Thought Ted, struggling to breathe through a stuffy nose and waves of barn dust. For the sake of his lungs, Ted dismounted the pile of sacks and used his flashlight to find the exit. He drove home on quiet roads and fell asleep. with wild suspicions in his thoughts the next morning ted decided to pass by the bar on his way to work half expecting to see the stranger seated in his corner with an empty glass on the table he entered the building and saw only the barkeeper who waved hello as he prepared for the day's work how's the nose ted cleared up a bit thanks Hey, did that man seem suspicious to you last night? The one who sat over there in the corner looking out the window? The cop said the barkeeper, busy wiping a table. A good guy. He was on watch. Maybe you saw in the paper about the disappearances? Well, the bodies were found early this morning. What was left of them anyway? They were in the old barn over there. piled up stuffed in sacks